What it do everybody, my name is Ross Panetta, chef and owner of Fire Kitchen, and this is Celebrity Recipe Royale, where we take recipes from our favorite celebrities and they battle it out to see which one is the best. On today's lineup, we have Dan Levy, Ashley Benson, Snooki, and the god himself, Gordon Ramsay. I measured out the ingredients as each recipe stated, and I found three pizza lovers to tell me to figure out which one of their pizzas is the best. So which one of these celebrities has the best pizza recipe? It's about to get wild saucy up in here. So first up to the ring, we have Dan Levy. We're gonna start off by slicing some red onions real thin and put that to the side. Dan Levy uses a pre-made cauliflower crust pizza, and to that, we're gonna massage in some garlic and olive oil. After that, we're gonna spoon over some vodka sauce, and spread it out to a really thin and even layer. We're gonna sprinkle some mozzarella cheese and shred over some Gruyere for some extra kick. Next up, he tops it off with sliced red onions, soppressata, some capers, and a drizzle of olive oil. We're gonna throw that into a 425 degree oven until nice and golden brown. And there you have it, Dan Levy's cauliflower crust pizza. That shit's crazy. This actually looks bang bang. This smells just like a regular pizza. Never had capers before, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not against a thin crust, but like, this is mega thin. Not bad, but definitely not what I was expecting. It's good, it's fine. The biggest takeaway was definitely the sauce. Tastes like a vodka sauce, and I assume it is. Cheese is good. I like the addition of the onions. Not the biggest fan of this crust. Presentation-wise, not the prettiest. Overall, it's got some uh, really good flavors going on, but the crust isn't quite doing it for me. So next up, we have actress Ashley Benson. We're gonna start off by tearing up all the mozzarella cheese in the world and setting that to the side. In a separate bowl, we're gonna put together our white sauce. We're gonna measure out some ricotta cheese, the juices of two lemons, a wide amount of salt, some pepper, and we're gonna get mixy with it. We're gonna slice up some Brussels sprouts and put that to the side. On a clean sheet tray, we're gonna oil it up so it don't stick, chop up some garlic, and we're gonna spoon over our sauce. We're gonna throw over our torn on mozzarella cheese, throw on some red onions, some garlic, and we're gonna crack two yolks before we put it in a 475 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Once the pizzas came out the oven, you're gonna top it off with your Brussels sprouts, some arugula, and there you have it, Ashley Benton's white pizza. Oh, oh, all right. Damn! This is what I'm talking about, that's a thick crust. I saw a little jiggle in there, looks like it might be some egg. This is definitely not the traditional pizza, but I'm down to try new things. Mmm, that's on the money. That is very good. If you're like feeling healthy, this is for you. For a white pizza, that little addition of the egg, it definitely elevated it. Very rich, very filling. I think I could eat about one slice of this and be ready to pass out. Personally, if I'm gonna eat pizza, I want pizza. But this is good, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. The first time I had arugula on pizza, and it was quite a pleasant surprise, I gotta say. So next up, we have Jersey Shore's beloved Snooki. She's gonna start off by spraying a cast iron pan with cooking spray. Do not at me, it was not my call to spray the pan. It's a part of the recipe. She's gonna throw in her pre-made crust on a medium low flame, spread over some pizza sauce, throw in some mozzarella cheese, and top it off with some pepperoni. We're gonna cover that pan with a lid, and boom, there you have it, Snooki's skillet style pizza. Definitely have something a little more traditional here. It looks really nice and saucy. When I think pizza, I always, always, always go for some pepperoni. Sauce is super flavorful. I'm not super impressed with the crust. Nothing wrong with it. You can't really mess up pepperoni pizza too badly. This has very much of a taste of um, something that you'd slap in the toaster oven. You could tell me that this one was like store-bought and I'd believe you. If someone served this to me at a restaurant, I'd be a little pissed. It's good pizza, but again, crust is a little thin. And now the recipe y'all been waiting for, Gordon Ramsay. We're gonna start off by making some dough. In a bowl, we're gonna throw in one packet of yeast, warm water, a couple of tablespoons of sugar, and let that get activated. In a separate bowl, we're gonna sift out some flour, make a well in the middle, add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and throw in our yeast mixture. We're gonna form a dough and keep kneading until all the dough from the sides are scraped off. We're gonna form the dough into a ball, throw it in a bowl, and cover it with a towel and let it rise. So once the dough has risen, we're gonna deflate it like Brady's football. We're gonna split the dough into two pieces, spread out the dough, put it in an oiled cast iron pan on a medium to low flame, spoon over some tomato passata, some torn mozzarella, until the bottom is cooked, we're gonna throw it into a 475 degree oven. Once the pizza comes out the oven, Gordon is gonna top it off with some fresh rosemary. And there you have it, Gordon Ramsay's homemade margarita pizza. This looks like a traditional pizza. This one might be it. The melted cheese looks beautiful. That's amazing. Holy cow, 
And that fresh mozzarella, super soft. This tastes like good pizza. I would get this at a pizza shop in New York. You can tell the ingredients from the dough to the sauce that's used uh, to the cheese are all very high quality. This is very good, and you should definitely make this at home or go out to a pizza shop and expect to get this. Super simple, but at the same time, super tasty. So which one of these celebs has the best homemade pizza? We're about to find out. My absolute favorite had to be number four. It was a traditional New York slice of pizza. As a New Yorker, I'm partial. It was delicious. The sauce was great, cheese was great, and the crust was perfect. Gordon Ramsay, all right. All right, Gordon, I see you. My favorite has to be number two. The ingredients were to die for. The richness of the egg really brought something that I'd never really experienced with pizza before. Ashley Benson, okay. She knows how to make a great pizza. I have to say that the one that I liked the most was definitely number four. We had that fresh mozzarella, that fresh sauce. Even the dough itself was super like light and airy and it just seemed extra, extra, extra fresh. Gordon Ramsay? My guy, I knew it. I could always depend on my guy, Gordon Ramsay, to deliver an awesome dish. So on this celebrity recipe royale, Gordon Ramsay takes the belt for his homemade margarita pizza. Which recipe do you think we should try next? Leave a comment below.